Hey, welcome back to another video. On this one, we're gonna be installing a Dickinson Newport propane heater in our four-wheel camper Project M. I haven't seen one of these installed yet on a Project M, so I'm gonna be kind of making it up as I go. I've got a general game plan in my head of how it's gonna happen, but there'll probably be some changes along the way, so bear with me. We're gonna be mounting it on the driver's side of the camper using this Pro Speed Molly panel. These are the two included exhaust and intake pipes that Dickinson's provides. Uh, the smaller one fits inside the larger outer one, so it draws in fresh air from the outside in the large one, and it exhausts the fumes out the small one. So it's a self-contained system uh, that's safe to sleep with and use inside your camper. We're going to be changing up this outside one just to a solid, rigid, two and a half inch style uh, exhaust tubing, but we're still going to be using this flexible inner tube. So this has a protective coating on it still, so it doesn't look that great, but it's going to be nice shiny silver. Inside this window here is going to be a flame, kind of like a little fireplace or a wood-burning stove kind of look. One knob here controls the fan speed to circulate the hot air. The other knob controls the amount of propane, which in turn controls how hot it is. We have a chimney that goes on the outside of the camper. It's going to be put on top of this fixed tube. This is for mounting it on the deck of... Uh, a roof or a boat cabin or something else. We're not mounting it on a deck, so I'm gonna be removing that and just using these top two uh, areas. And let's jump into this project. This is roughly where the heater's gonna go, kind of a template. There's gonna be a hole drilled through the wall of the back of the camper here. But first step is gonna be getting this Pro Speed Molly panel mounted up to the four wheel camper bolts. Mounting these is as simple as taking off this bolt from four wheel camper, mounting these little extensions, and then you'll mount the molly panel to the little extension. This is where the Pro Speed rack is supposed to mount, on those two upper bolts and the two lower bolts. I have one overlaying the other right now. So this one is where this is intended to mount to, but it wasn't gonna fit there. It was gonna miss this mounting point. So I was gonna have to drill something to uh, change that out. But I actually decided to just move it down lower drill two new mounting points there because I like how my heater is going to fit. I'll show you. So now the main portion of the heater is going to be mounted squarely on the rack. The bottom of it is flush with the bottom. The top has an overhanging piece, which I might cut off later. I'm not really a fan of how that looks. And then the venting is going to come out of here and go through the back corner of the camper right there. So the blue tape is outlining the aluminum structure behind it, and this black void here in the middle is got no framing, so I'm gonna try and cut out the majority of it in that black portion. I drilled through from the inside of the camper where the hole is already made to kind of give myself a rough outline for the exterior. And then I put the two and a half inch tube up against the wall, traced it, and now I'll use the Dremel to finish cutting that out. All right, punched all the way through. Got the hole roughly cut in. Now I'm gonna clean up the edges, make it nice and smooth. But um, I got an exhaust pipe. So this little maybe three quarter of an inch piece of material is all I had to take out of the framing. This is still solid framing up here, solid framing all the way down the edge. And there's a 45 degree piece right here connecting this 90 degree corner. 
So half of this circle is a void anyway. And then the other half is about this one inch piece of material that got taken out of there. So I'm not worried about the structure on it. Obviously four wheel campers doesn't support cutting into their frame, but me personally, uh, I'm not too worried about it. So this is roughly where it's gonna sit. It's gonna come 90 out of here into this cap. Again, that part's gonna come off. So it's just gonna be the top two pieces and it misses, it'll miss the door right here. Next step, we'll be getting this deck mount plate off the chimney. There's some rivets and some tack welds in here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to use some tin snips and the Dremel and get this all ripped off. So we've got the molly panel in its final spot. This is where the heater is gonna go. I changed back to using the included flexible two and a half inch pipe that it comes with. I'm gonna use that for the interior portion. I went by a local muffler shop, grabbed a piece of mandrel bent two and a half inch pipe that I'm gonna use on the exterior, I'll show you that. And then the interior exhaust pipe that uh, runs down the center of the two and a half is gonna go through both materials. Screw this into the panel, get it permanently mounted, trim this two and a half inch pipe at the camper wall, and then we'll go from there. So I chopped some of the 90 off right here, slid it into the camper. Um, now I'm figuring out how far down I want to chop this portion of the 90 to fit the chimney on top. I'm also going to use a regular two and a half inch exhaust flange. I'm going to get that welded to this tube and then I'm going to bolt it to the camper so that this chimney portion is removable if needed. I'll be putting some silicone around it, make it all weather tight, but it's gonna be removable. So that should be pretty cool. So now I need to measure the depth of how far down I want this chimney cut. We've got the exhaust piece here with the flange on it. We've got it set up to weld and then we'll send it off to powder coat some other day, but I'm trying to get this all sealed up before any rain comes. All right, so I'm getting ready to drill the hole through the back of the camper for the propane line. This is regulator is going to be on the inside of the camper. This will be the camper wall. I've got a shorter one also in case I end up uh, not needing this length. And then this hose will go straight into the propane tank on the exterior. Let's get that hole drilled and we'll start hooking this up. So we've got the propane pipe through the wall now with a couple brass fittings hooked up to the tank. Got some caulking around the brass fitting to keep the water out of the camper. Now we're working on the exhaust pipe here. Uh, I need to get some bolts through here, some caulking on here, get that mounted and then put the little cap up top. All right, we got it all bolted in. It's all painted with some ceramic coat, high heat paint. Just started the rivets and now we're gonna rivet the uh, top on here.
Here's the Expedition Essentials propane tank holder with an 11 pound bottle in it. Here's how the plumbing ended up in its final spot and the pipe coming through the wall to the regulator, down to the hose, underneath to the gas supply area. This is the red and black wire coming out of the bottom of the heater for power and ground. I currently just have it on a 12 volt pigtail just until I figure out how I want to wire it. I'm probably going to remove this panel and hardwire into this electrical. So I did one quick test fire to get all the air out of the propane line. So it should be ready to turn on how it normally is going to be. Uh, so first you open the little door on the front of the heater. So you push in to light it just like a pilot light. So now that it's lit and on low, you can crank it up to high, close the door, turn the fan on to start circulating the air around the heater box, and it's just already blowing warm air out of the lid here. All right, heater's been on for a few minutes now, and it's toasty inside the camper already. I know we're not in some crazy cold weather climate right now, but it's going to work, huh? I'm really excited about it, especially after coming from the GFC, was it last winter? Yeah freezing going to bed and now i can just come in here and turn this fireplace on and it's going to feel so good just get out of the cold it's going to be a lot more comfortable yeah be able to change inside here with oh this thing gosh. on turn it on a few minutes before we come in so much better it's gonna be great and it's like a little fireplace yeah the ambiance is really cool yeah we'll be able to lay in bed up there and and look down at the flames here and the little mini fireplace and no more worries about the Mr. Buddy heater uh, yeah. tipping over. Um, we didn't want to sleep with it on yeah. ever. So this we can sleep with it on and not have to worry. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to get out in the cold weather and try it. That's going to wrap up the install video of this Dickinson Newport propane heater and my four-wheel campers Project M. I'm super happy with how it turned out. The quality of this heater seems great. The stainless steel finish looks awesome. It was definitely a little intimidating to cut a hole in the back of the camper here, but I'm pretty confident with how it turned out. Uh, the exhaust chimney out the back looks good. I still need to get that powder coated, but they've been closed for the holidays. I'll have a full parts list of everything I used with the propane fittings and the heater and the pro speed racks all into the video description. If you haven't already, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel so I can keep making more like this. And we hope to get it out in some cold weather, hopefully some snow if we have any in the local mountains yet, to put this thing to the test. Uh, so again, thanks for checking out the video and see you on the next one.